Today at the Shuhushkal Market Grill, we're going to prepare tuna. Yes, we are. And it looks like a steak. Yes, it's very similar. Um, it is a tuna steak. Well, that simplifies <laughs> things. Tuna steak. So it's about an inch thick, is it? Yeah, I like to cut it that mm -hmm. thick, uh, just so it won't dry up in the in the cooking process. Mm -hmm. Now. What's the process for the tuna steak? Very oh. simple. You start out with your onion, mm -hmm. saute that, add your garlic, chopped garlic and chopped onion of course. Uh, once the two are starting to become slightly golden, add your white wine, let that reduce. There I've you got are. That. <laughs> I'm, I'm in charge of the wine today. And, and the tomato? I like to use a little tomato sauce in the rice. You can use fresh tomato. Mm -hmm. It just intensifies a little more when it's a tomato sauce. Okay. Um, add the rice your tomato sauce or your fresh tomatoes, let it cook until tender, salt, pepper, and your rice is done. So you should start with a nice hot pan, there's a little olive oil, you can always see when the pan is hot, because the olive oil starts to run nice and easy. Mm -hmm. yeah, add your onion. I like that, that sound. The sizzle. The sizzle. It's beautiful. Add a little bay leaf. I like the flavor of bay leaf, so I add perhaps more than most people. Mm -hmm. As the onion is starting to become a little bit translucent, as you can see, it's starting to, to be clear. Mm -hmm. You add your garlic, and I do like garlic, as you oh, can so see. Do I. So I add a that, lot. Of garlic. That's at least uh, uh, two tablespoons. <laughs> that's a, that's approximately three cloves. Now again, you let the garlic come to just a golden stage, you add your wine without it. Ooh, more crackling and sizzling. And that was about a quarter cup of wine or so? This Half is a about four or five soup spoons, I would say, tablespoons table rather. Spoons. As it starts to reduce, you see that the wine is evaporating, the, 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 fr the fruit of the wine is starting to concentrate in the pan, mm -hmm. and you will start to get your flavors coming together. Mm. I like to add my tomato sauce at right about this time. And again, this depends on how tomatoey you want your rice. You've added the rice to and uh, the, uh, the liquid? The liquid you can use water, you can use, because it's being served with fish, you can use a little bit of a fish stock or mm -hmm. add some uh, a fish bouillon to, to your water. While the rice is cooking, you can just salt your tuna. I like to use sea salt, mm -hmm. just a little bit of salt on it, however much you like, and cracked black peppercorns. It's well, like you're pressing it down. I'm just making sure that it stays on the on the surface. Mm -hmm. You then turn it and do the same thing to the other side. Okay. And what is this? This is a relish, mm -hmm. and it's basically chopped onion. Um, you, you, you put it with chopped tomatoes and um, red pepper, yellow peppers, chopped Very as well. Very finely chopped peppers. Yes. Um, add a little parsley. I like to put some black olives into it. I like to also add some chopped capers. Mm -hmm. Little olive oil, salt and pepper, and I like a sprinkle of uh, raspberry vinegar. And you just... You mix it all mix together it and we will use it later. Okay, so this is ready to also go in a yes. pan once our rice is finished. Once our rice is done, we will go with this and I'll okay. show you how it's done. Great. So as the rice is almost coming to being ready, we salt it. And you use Little sea pepper. salt most of the time or all the time? I love using sea salt all the time. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more flavor to the salt. And I like to finish the rice with a little parsley. Mm. And, and you put that right in the center that it looks so appetizing just as it is. Well, we're, we're going to break it up. Okay. It's, it's really meant to be incorporated into the rice. So that's the last step in the preparation of the rice. That's what it is. Parsley. The reason I put the parsley is so that the, it doesn't overcook and it stays nice and green. So you put it at the end. Mm -hmm. I'll pass the tuna over to you. The pan should be very hot. And it's a cast iron pan. It's a cast iron pan. You, you can tell it's hot when the bottom of it starts to turn a little bit white. Mm. So you put in just a drop of olive oil. Ooh, that's it hot. starts to smoke. And the olive oil is just to stop the pan 
or to stop the tuna from sticking to the pan. Put your tuna in. By the way, I like to turn off the flame so it doesn't ignite mm. as it would. If I was wondering why you turned it off, but I've noticed you do that before. So that's just, just a little caution. Uh, now, searing just means what? What does searing mean? Searing is when you're not frying and you're literally just doing the outside of the product. Mm -hmm. So in this case, you're just doing the outside, you're toasting the pepper and you are just browning slightly the outside of the tuna but as you can see the tuna remains raw. Yes, I, I love that. I, I like my tuna medium rare. Or there we rare. are. Oh, that's great. And it's like a minute. Well the pan is really hot and it should be about medium rare by now. Well that's how I like my tuna and considering that that's for me. I, I would say I'd That's say how we're going to leave it. <laughs> now plating this consists of simply, this is a plate for uh, one portion. Well, this is a plate for you to eat and okay. all your guests. Okay, I'll have half of the rice. <laughs> so, we'll put, I like mm. to just put the rice on it. The rice smells great, I, it really does. Thank you. Mm. Yes. The tuna comes in. Mm. You can just that on top. Put your tuna steaks somewhat like that. Wow. The relish adds, uh, adds taste as well. A good flavor. The and relish kind of finishes the product. Mm, and it also decorates and finishes Gives it, it a nice color. Yes. Mm. But the runoff from the relish is usually good flavor. Right. It's olive oil and we say what kind of... Olive vinegar? oil. There's raspberry vinegar. Raspberry vinegar. Thank and you, there it Raymond. is. My Perfect. pleasure. Seared tuna with tomato rice. Seared tuna with a nice tomato rice, yes. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you.